Hey there, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. I'm gonna show you how to make these interesting cough tone effects in Photoshop. Uh, this is one of the models and uh, you can apply half tones in different way. This is the twirl effect and this one is the straight half tone effect. Uh, there's like a couple of more settings how you can achieve this effect. Also make sure that your model you know is some high quality image made in a studio. For example an image when it's done in the sh studio basically it's sharp. You can see the light and the contrast and, and the shadows like how sharp and as strong they are rather than in this image where like uh, the photo is taken outside the lights are more natural they are more soft and these are like other examples as well i'm gonna try it out with this eventually where like uh, the lights are more soft first you need to make it monochrome and uh, to achieve this just go here on this filter this is the black and white adjustment layer and this way it creates this layer and this is basically the black and white. In my case, I don't need it. Next, uh, make sure your contrast is on point and I'm going to select the levels. And with the levels, as you can see here in this zone, it's pretty much empty. And here it starts the levels and here it ends. So I want to pull these handles somewhere on these parts. And as you can see, the image starts to be more contrasty. Okay, this should work pretty good. I'm gonna go to layers, create a new layer. Here you create the new layer. Go to edit, fill. Make sure you're on 50% gray. Opacity is 100. Also make sure you, that uh, you're on white here on the fill. And then click OK. As you can see, we, now we got the gray uh, background image, right click on the layer, convert to smart objects and from here we're gonna go to the filter gallery. Okay I'm gonna delete of course this one so make sure you go to sketch and select the half tone. I'm gonna put the size on 4, the contrast on 0 create a new effect layer down here the right click on it and select torn edges it's right here basically this is going to flip the half tone right now it was like this it added like more edges and you can also decrease the contrast or increase it going to decrease some around here smoothness is at 11 this should be some around in the center click OK from here I'm gonna I'm gonna go to select the hard mix as you can see it created this half tone effect I also can flip the dots because right now the dots are white And that way is going to create the half tone even better. So I gotta go to the adjustment layers and go to the invert. And go back to the layers. Press and hold Alt when you're on this layer. When you're on the invert layer, press and hold Alt and drag the mouse a little bit down when you're gonna see this uh, arrow which pointing down on the layer which contains the half tone and click. And as you can see it reversed you know now we have the dots before we had you know inverted so it basically flipped it uh, it's pretty nice I also can change you know the dots to be bigger I'm gonna double click here on the filter gallery I'm gonna go back to the half tone pattern it's right here located and I'm gonna increase the size even more to six as you can see now we have uh, achieved a different result. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm going to go back uh, half tone the size to be five. Starts to be better, I think. And also you can modify the contrast. Dec decrease the contrast. 
you're gonna see like more interesting results. Or if you pull this middle one and I decrease this, you're gonna make a difference. Okay, I'm gonna increase it a little more. So it's gonna be more visible a little bit. Don't go to the extreme because we still need to decrease uh, the opacity, you know, the fill, sorry, of the, the layer. So I'm gonna decrease somewhere around 70%. And now it's even more, you know, better accentuated this effect. So you can do like multiple adjustments. You can adjust the fill, you can adjust the levels, you can adjust the filter gallery and so on and so forth. Now we also can achieve another effect. I go to filter, go to distort and twirl. Click OK on 50% it's good. And this is going to make the dots twirl around. So uh, this is even more interesting. You can also uncheck the twirl. So it becomes to normal. And this is how you make these interesting effects. So yeah, basically this is the tutorial. I also can show you another technique how it's done. And I'm going to show you that on this model. The same way basically we go to the levels first. So you go to the adjustment layer, select levels. If of course you have a colorful photo, then you go first with the black and white and then you select the levels or vice versa. So it does the same thing. I'm going to pull this and add some contrast you know something like this select both right click merge layers and now i'm gonna go to the filters pixelate color half tone as you can see we got some channels going on if you add channels it is going to add colors like a more uh colorful uh, colorful dots so i'm gonna remain with these uh numbers i'm gonna increase the size of the dots here at max radius you can increase the size of the dots i'm gonna go with 20 let's see what happens and basically this is how it applied the half tone effect as you can see if i zoom in we got these raster points colorful raster points and also we can achieve this effect you know with uh multiple effects let's say i'm gonna apply this these and i'm gonna apply a new one i'm gonna create some new copy as i I'm just gonna drag it and you know make some uh, more color half tone let's say i want to make it with 30. let's see what happens this was it this was this is even more interesting um as you can see, it has like bigger dots. I'm gonna create a new copy and uncheck this, go back to this one. And now I'm going to apply a black and white version. So I'm gonna click, select zero, 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 zero on these channels and go back to, I'm gonna go with 23, click okay. And now we're on uh, you know pure black and white version. Make another one and I'm gonna check uh, if I add something to this channel, let's say like 59 or something. And it's gonna add like two colors or three, sorry. Actually two, sorry. Bla uh, you know, the red and uh, cyan. So these also bring like different results. You can like experiment uh, with all kind of uh, effects here. Color half tone. All right, let's add, I don't know, 100 to this one. And it's basically going to add the yellow as well. So yeah, uh, and it's all, it also basically moves the dots in different directions, how you change the values. And yeah, this is it. And this is how you make, uh, you know, how, how you work with the uh, half tones in uh, Adobe Photoshop. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos as well. Subscribe, hit the notification bell and have a good day. Bye bye.